Good morning, it's your crazy old coot here. How's it going? I'm doing okay, all things considering. I'll put a note down below explaining everything. But today we're going to go over how to overclock the power color Red Dragon Radeon RX Vega 56. The first thing you're going to need to do is open the Radeon settings. So you're going to go to the lower right hand corner, get into the Radeon settings, and then you're going to click the gaming tab. And then you're going to click the global settings tab. And then you're going to double click the global Walkman tab and go full screen. And this is what you'll see, which doesn't tell you a whole lot. But I will tell you right now. The default settings are 1590 megahertz for boost clock and 800 megahertz on your memory clock. With these settings, I went in and did time spy. I just hit run, nothing fancy. And I got a graphic score of 6,665. And my graphics test one frames per second was 45.83. And my graphics test two frames per second were a 36.54. So this is our starting point. So to overclock this thing, you go from balanced and you're going to click on the custom and that turns on your overclocking capabilities. Now we're going to turn on the voltage control and Vega 56s are always good for a negative 50. So we're going to start with negative 50 and we're going to take this one down to, to negative, uh, just another 25 below that just to start with. Now, memory, Vega 56 is always good to 900 megahertz. Always good. I had a person do a 12 card and they never got below 900 megahertz on the memory. So now we're gonna turn on the acoustic because these are way too high. I set it for 80 max and a target of 65. I never reached 65. And then you can take your power limit and slide it all the way up to 50%. Once you do that, you're going to go up and hit the apply button. And that applies it. And then you probably want to save it. And you click on that and, and write your save profile. Now let's see what we got for scores. So let's see what we got with our newly modified settings. The graphic score was 7,014, which is a 5% increase. Graphics test one was 48.43 frames per second. Graphics test two was 38.32. And our clock is still at 1590 because we haven't messed with that yet. Now for round two. First, we're going to take the... Uh, Voltage down another 25 millivolts to 1100 and 1125. Okay, with that done, now we're going to boost the uh, memory frequency up another 20. Move that slight. Ooh, too far. Oh, there we go. Right there. And now we're going to do something we had, didn't do before. We're going to get over there. Frequency, we're going to slide that up to 2%. Okay. And we're going to hit a... Oh, wait a minute. Now, let, let's show you. I just want to show you here. Watch your state 6 and 7. As I move this up, you see how that curve goes up and down automatically? You don't have to go in and try to move those sliders up by themselves again. And then hit apply and save, and we're done. And here are round two overclocking results in Time Spy. The graphics score was 7,175. That's a 2.3% increase over our last overclock and 7.6% over the default. Graphics test one, 49.48 frames per second. Graphics test two, 39.24 frames per second. 
And now notice the clock boost is sitting at 1,622. Now here's another thing I wanted to show you. Uh, TimeSpy has a monitoring feature and I'm just using this to show you how cool the GPU is. It's not getting like over uh, 62 degrees C. It's cool. So in round three, we're going to... First, we're going to take this state seven voltage and just bring it down to 1100. And then we're going to move the frequency up to four. And then we're going to boost the memory frequency up to 930. I'm only going to 930 because I know I start artifacting at 940. It doesn't matter that much at this point in time. So you hit applied and save and we're ready to see the results. Round three overclocking results. Our graphics score was 7,295 for a 1.6% increase over the last time and a 9.4% increase from the default. Graphics test one is 50.24 frames per second. Graphics test two, 39.94 frames per second. And if you notice now, the clock boost is set for 1652. And we go over the monitoring and yes, the card is still cool. Okay, here's gonna be our last round. We're gonna boost the frequency percent up to 6%, okay? Everything else looks good. So now we go hit applied. Now I'm gonna show you, so you hit save profile and you can either type in or you just click on one thing and replace it and that's that. And uh, let's see what our results are. Round four time spy results. We have a graphic score of 7,411, which is a 1.5% increase over our last results and an 11.2% increase over default. Our graphics test one frames per second, 51.07. Graphics test two frames per second, 40.56. Now you notice the boost is at 1,687 megahertz. Now that's a max boost. Uh, it doesn't get there. What I do, I've got GPU-Z and GPU-Z has a sensor and it logs the results. My frequency of the GPU was running between 1650 and 1660. So this is basically as much as you can squeeze out of this graphics card in this configuration. If you want to go higher than this, you're going to have to upload a Vega 64 BIOS. And then that gives you more power range. And yes, it's still cool. <laughs> well, here are my final thoughts on overclocking a Vega 56. First of all, you may wonder where I got my starting points. Well, there's another guy on YouTube who just happened to have 12 of the same cards I do. And he tested all 12 and overclocked them and found out his range. So he tested 12 of them. And for memory, his range was a low of 925 to a high of 985. So that's why I said you can go to 900 with no problems. And then on his core clocks, he got 1600. To 1653. Bumping up your uh, core clocks up to 1652 is a little on the high side, but you know, so that's why I started down at, um, at just a 2% increase. So uh, the other thing is, is the, the way I showed you, this is not the way to, the best way to do it. The best way to do it is to first do your, your memory first, overclock your memory until you start getting it artifacts and then bring it back down and then you want to go with voltage now just from what i've heard from other people you can undervolt these easily 50 millivolts 
Um, 100 is about the max. I tried 125 and it crashed. Started about 50, work your way down. And then start boosting up your frequency. Go two, four, six, and see how you're doing. Once you start not getting anywhere, you, you pretty much reach the limit of this card. As you've seen, temperature is not a worry with this card. Does never, runs hot, never gives above 65. A cool card. And finally, overclocking this card, you can get close to a Vega 64 stock. Okay, now a Vega 64 overclocked will blow this away, but you can get close to a, a Vega 64 stock scores on this card. So, this is your crazy old coot wishing you a good evening.